Greeting lions all over the world. Lions Club International Foundation has initiated Campaign 100 to deal with five causes affecting humanity. Diabetes, childhood cancer, the environment, hunger, and vision. Lions Club International Foundation, in cooperation with the World Diabetes Organization, formed a treaty in 2017 to deal with the diabetes pandemic. We were fortunate in the state of Michigan to receive over $250,000 for dead and our 11D2, we received $22,000. The Lions of Croswell, in partnership with the City of Croswell Community Health and Fitness Center, established the Community Diabetes Center, located in the city of Croswell. It's run by volunteers from the Lions Club and the community. It will be staffed by certified nurses and diabetes educators. It will serve the people within the community regardless of income or residence. It will teach about nutrition, exercise, mental attitude, and knowing the medications. The ribbon cutting is August 11, 2020. Thank you, LCIF and the Lions of Croswell for a great project that will be a world model to follow. Thanks for the privilege of your time. District Governor, Dr. Sammy McCool, 11 D2 Michigan. We looked at uh, what was happening in our community right now and in talking with our local pharmacist he is servicing 750 or more people with insulin alone and that doesn't count uh, the oral medications or other medications that people would be using in our small town. So we have a great need, we're in a rural area, and we have over 2,000 people who live just in Croswell, but when we look at the region around us, there's around eight or 9,000 people. Of that, over 50% are either pre-diabetic or diabetic. So the need to teach so that people don't become diabetic is very important. It really started with Lions Clubs International making, uh, trying to prevent uh, diabetes and its complications as one of their big projects. And I knew that we had a lot of people in our town that were uh, fighting diabetes. They didn't want to travel distances to get services and so I talked to our Croswell Lions Club and we decided we wanted to do something in our own community to help the people in our community. So we wanted to bring services to them. What we hope to achieve is to uh, have people learn about being healthy at a young age all the way to their older age. And sometimes diabetes runs in a family, however, we don't prevent it. And so what we want to do is to prevent someone from getting diabetes. So if mom or dad have diabetes, the children need to know how not to get diabetes. Although diabetes is not genetic, there's a lot of lifestyle changes that have to occur to prevent diabetes from happening. So our intention is to educate the community, educate family members, educate everyone to show that diabetes is an important uh, diagnosis. It's an important uh, way to be healthy, to not have it. And we hope to eradicate maybe some diabetes in the future by having the educational center. We are hoping to really gather families in the community and out of the community. Our intention is to provide services uh, related to education of diabetes, why we need to prevent it so that we don't become uh, people that have amputations as a result of diabetes or have strokes as a result of diabetes. One important component, I think, of our educational center is support. So we hope to develop some support groups where people can come, family members can come, or children can come and talk about what it's like to live with diabetes. 
Anyone who is wanting more education, uh, you do not have to be diagnosed with diabetes or pre-diabetes. You might have someone in your family who has diabetes and you want to be able to help that person. So we would provide services to you for that. Uh, anyone in our community, not just in the town of Croswell, but we're looking at a whole community going to our surrounding towns as well. We decided the best way to do that was to have a center where we could provide uh, services with registered nurses, with uh, diabetes educators, classes uh, that would help with meal planning, uh, daily living with diabetes. Some of our classes are going to be living with diabetes, uh, you know, what it's like to be uh, having diabetes. Then we're going to have a class called Diabetes 101, which really talks about the changes that can occur if one has diabetes. And then we're going to have some meal planning, uh, that we're going to have nutrition classes. We're also going to have maybe some cooking classes so people can learn that we can uh, change the way we cook so that our foods taste good. The other piece, we're going to have some alternate lifestyle uh, types of uh, projects or programs. Uh, for example, we may use aromatherapy, maybe a class that we talk about aromatherapy and diabetes. We may have classes talking about vitamins and minerals and what are the best types of vitamins to use when one has diabetes. So those classes become important because then it helps individuals when they go shopping to buy the right types of products. Okay, our staff is composed of all volunteers. Uh, some are Lions members, some are members from the community. Uh, they will all have an orientation that they will go through and so that they know exactly uh, how to handle situations in a professional way. We will be offering uh, by appointment times when people can come if they wish to talk to a registered nurse or we do have uh, one of our Lions members is a certified uh, diabetes educator. She has had extra training in diabetes. Uh, we also have an area in our uh, facility where anyone who wishes to become a certified diabetes educator can come and do that. It's an online course and our own uh, diabetes educator would be there in case there were questions or a need for tutoring for that course. Okay, our facility is called the Community Diabetes Center. It's located at 110 North Howard, Suite Number 2 in Croswell, and it's right across from the post office. Uh, we will be open uh, during the week, during the daytime, one night a week we will also be open and then one uh, Saturday a month we will be open. We will be offering classes, they will be scheduled uh, and we are trying to offer those at times that will be convenient for the people in our community to be able to attend.